special day at NAS Pensacola. About 20 veterans from William F. Green State Veterans Home in Bay Minette took part in a hero's flight. Dacian Smith joining us now for what was a trip down memory lane for these veterans. Hey, that's right. Some of the veterans got a chance to check out the Naval Aviation Museum, while they also got a chance to see some of the stuff from the wars they served in. About 20 veterans representing all branches of the military were greeted at NAS Pensacola as sailors manned the rails to welcome them for their hero's flight. From what I heard, uh, it sounded like they were all up at 6 a.m. this morning. It was like a bunch of little kids going to the amusement park. The veterans were treated to lunch at the National Naval Aviation Museum, where they were able to spend some time with some of the local sailors and share their stories with the next generation. It's so important, almost priceless, that these sailors that have just enlisted in U.S. Navy get to sit down and spend time with our senior veterans that have given so much for our freedom. Then those same sailors helped the veterans while they went on a special tour of the museum. They were split into groups based on what war they served in. Veterans from today's Heroes Flight fought in the Gulf, Korean, or Vietnam War. There were also two World War II veterans, like Army veteran Thomas Harris Jr., who was making his first trip to the museum. It's uh, a great honor and opportunity for, to see this. Things that I've seen on TV and read about. I really was interested in seeing these the planes on display. Some of the veterans were able to learn about what other branches of the military did during some of the wars they fought in, while others were able to revisit their own history. In the group that I talked to, there were at least three who were looking forward to finding, you know, the airplane or the helicopter that they flew in. But more than looking back on their past, some say they enjoyed spending time with the future of the United States military most of all. I admire them and respect them for, for doing that. So we need uh, more of them to participate as these people are doing. And Community Hospice says this was the second annual Heroes Flight, and they want to make this a yearly tradition to thank those who have served. Live in Pensacola, Dacian Smith, Fox 10 News.